how do you define, you know, when you when you say small business, kind of what, what comes to mind? Do you think, you know, how much money they make a year, how many employees, what's up with the operation? Basics like broadband and like kind of you know good roads, good equipment are things that we take for granted. That well, it's really a business of needs. Yeah, so when we talk about um, infrastructure in our state and investing, certainly the small business, medium sized business, large business, they want to have good roads to get their goods to market. We need to have good bridges and rail and airports, but we also need to have a strong emphasis in our broadband in our rural communities. Um, and um, when we talk to the schools, the hospitals, and small businesses that they want to have access to the bandwidth that they need and to broadband. And unfortunately, uh, last session, Governor Walker returned $23 million in a federal grant to the state of Wisconsin to help with uh, broadband expansion here in the state. And as I've talked to um, small business owners who've said, we would love to you know, continue to grow our cottage industry from our, our, our home uh, but we are a mile off from where we can have access to uh, broadband. And so we're looking for that expansion so that uh, we love where we live, it's the quality of life, it's that work ethic, it's um, highly educated and skilled workers, but we also need to be investing for the future, which is in that broadband expansion. And uh, a couple hospitals in the district are looking to expand or uh, look uh, at building a new hospital and with electronic medical records that we are seeing uh, that growth uh, for efficiency and reduced costs and cost containment with electronic medical records. So again, that bandwidth, that broadband that is being brought into uh, our rural parts of the state, it really is, it is critical in looking to the next to the, uh, century here. Um, one of the other things that I know you're a big proponent of is you talk a lot about, you know, you're willing to basically work with Republicans, you're willing to compromise in your record and the legislature supports that. Um, are you confident, I asked the Congressman this year, like the federal are you confident with how divided it's been the last year. And kind of after this election, we'll finally say, all right, let's put aside our differences here and we'll pick up the going. Because it's not just you're willing to work together, it's everybody else has to be willing to work together, too. Yeah, well, I, I am uh, the eternal optimist that I think, uh, you know, I hope we've been through the stormiest, rockiest part in our history. And if my colleagues, as they go door to door in their own communities, are hearing what I'm hearing, they want us to get along, they want us to compromise, they want us to be problem solvers and to find solutions about the issues that they are concerned about. And just as voters feel like there is a disconnect in Washington, D.C. about the discussions that are happening in, uh, back in Wisconsin, um, people also feel there's a disconnect in Madison about the issues that families sit around the kitchen table, they worry about um, affordable you know, health care for their loved ones or aging parents, they worry about strong local schools for their, for their kids, and they worry about um, the stability in, in jobs and turning the economy, turning the corner on the economy. So um, I certainly continue to pledge to work in a bipartisan manner within the delegation here in western Wisconsin, but also reach across the aisle in both the Assembly and the Senate uh, on issues that are of common interest here in western Wisconsin. We have a lot of regional issues. They're not partisan issues. They're not based on party affiliation, but those regional issues uh, when it comes to uh, uh, rural schools, when it comes to our small family farms and growing organic farming here in Wisconsin. Uh, the issue of tax reciprocity with Minnesota and working with my colleagues up and down the Mississippi area uh, and then across the river with our colleagues in Minnesota. So those are issues that I've worked on uh, and people say that's the kind of leadership that we want, that you are willing to uh, work with the other side, be open to ideas, but really have that compromise and that cooperation that we value here in Western Wisconsin. Obviously different sizes of farms, I you mentioned the farms, and I understand maybe there's some farms that produce you know, millions of stuff every year, but when you say small business, I mean, do farms come to mind too? I mean, are they included? Yeah, when, you, when uh, I'm out um, at a farm in western Wisconsin and looking at their operation, touring it, understanding sort of uh, the, the input costs that they have for their crops, how 
they have had to deal with uh, the drought this summer and what that has meant uh, for them and their herd and uh, uh, being able to purchase feed. But those are all issues that have, uh, and they see themselves as small, uh, as small business as well, and they certainly are. And uh, we need to make sure that here in Wisconsin, the agriculture continues to be that, that stable economy. It's a $59 billion economy here in Wisconsin. We have seen um, exports grow in our um, agriculture uh, area, and we need to uh, recognize that while we're seeing some increases there, they certainly continue to struggle with high um, health care insurance, the high input costs that they are seeing, and we will they will still see some ramifications of the drought as they go into the next planting season. That's all I got for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I, uh, so you know where I'm going with the small business. I did kind of want to do one on, you know, kind of how we define the small business. Oh, shoot, I didn't talk about venture capital. That's the thing I like to talk about. Okay, we'll just tell this one. Uh, the problem is the economist that I usually, Dr. Brooks at UWL. Oh, well, Yeah, he told me he's like, he doesn't know, if, he usually is really good with me about doing interviews, but he doesn't know if he wants to do one on like the economic definition because he said he doesn't want to look like he's basically taking sides and, you know, oh, this politician is exactly yeah. right and wrong. So we'll see if they ever let me run it or not, if I can ever do it in a way that's like okay. unbiased. But okay. I figured so, in case I wanted to take it. Okay, good. I'm going to ask myself a question and then I'll okay. answer it. Sounds good. So, Senator. Chilling. Uh, what are some of the ideas for small business growth here in Wisconsin that you'd like to see when you're elected to the state senate moving forward in 2013? Well, and when I talk to small businesses here across the district, they're looking at you know hiring folks that have the right skills and training that we need. That there is a skills gap here. We need to better align that. Uh, we need to look at capital, uh, early seed capital, venture capital for them, and in the rural parts of the state that we've got some legislation on tax uh, incentives for these small businesses and nonprofits for, uh, for, uh, for some financial assistance and some of that venture capital. And it's also looking at that broadband, and it's that expansion of broadband in these small businesses, cottage industries, that really will connect them to a global market. And uh, they, they love Wisconsin, the work ethic here, they love the trained, uh, highly educated workers that we have here, but they also recognize that um, infrastructure, business infrastructure, is paramount to them to be able to and when you mentioned the venture capital bill, that's basically state money that kind of encouraged them to take a risk. Right. Um, yes. And we had a, a bill last year. We didn't have the support to get it through. But I think as we uh, have discussions and commit special committees that in this off uh, time with the legislature, they've been continuing to meet to design the framework for a venture capital here in the uh, bill in Wisconsin that would have that early seed capital, the early seed money for those small businesses it would have... Uh, oversight by a Wisconsin agency that's um, SWIFT board and it also have accountability with audits which in the past we've had a venture capital bill here that uh, wasn't uh, designed in a way that really protected the best interests of Wisconsin taxpayers. I think we've learned from that mistake and that's why um, oversight and an audit is, is critical as well as having um, 